everyone, Russ Kimura with Inspire Collective. We are interviewing businesses that are kingdom-minded, that are part of our collective, and today we are with Dr. Ricky at Kingdom Chiropractic. We're gonna get into it and understand a little bit more about his business and his heart and how he got here. So Dr. Ricky, thank you for joining us today on this piece. Um, tell us a little bit about your business, how you came to even get into this you know, practice and what you're doing and how you're doing it. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I've been practicing chiropractic for a little over 10 years now and in Hawaii for about six. Um, I actually opened my business in the middle of COVID. So a little scary. Uh, I used to work for a different company before. And essentially, I felt that it was time to leave. And more importantly, it was almost like God's calling. Um, it got too focused at my old company on business and numbers, which is important. Uh, but I felt less of the focus was on the patient, the client. So, um, yeah, I opened Kingdom Chiropractic in November of 2020. Wow. And now, uh, as of today, it's a little over two years. We have five locations, wow. about 16 employees. So God has blessed us tremendously as we opened, but more importantly, as we grow, um, I can say that just listening to God one and walking with him has been our biggest um, growth factor. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. I didn't realize two years and already five locations. Yes. Wow, that's incredible. So tell me a little bit about, you know, obviously Kingdom Chiropractic. Um, what, not what separates you, but what is your philosophy? Your, you know, you said focus on the, on the, um, on the patient. Um, and you, you consider yourself a Christian business, but what does that really mean to you and, and, you know, the way that you run your business? Oh, I, we get that a lot, especially in, uh, business. Uh, what is a Christian business or what, what does, what separates Kingdom Chiropractic from other companies? I can say first and foremost, with, at Kingdom Chiropractic, we put the patient before the profit. We want to focus on the patient, focus on the care of the patient and their outcomes before um, making money. Not that profit and making money is a bad thing, don't get me wrong. Um, but what we have found with our clients and their reviews of, of their experience here, it is uh, a little bit more focused on them. We take a little bit more time. Uh, and more importantly, we are more focused on their goals and outcomes, not outward. Yeah, that's great. So what inspired you to grow so quickly? I mean, what were the things that around you that said, hey, I, I'm just going to grow. You know? uh, it, it wasn't by choice. Actually, the funny thing is I'm, every year we, we have a word. We pray for a word from God. And the word from God was always refine, get better. Um, but in the process of that, God put people in my life, in my, in my business life, and also relationships I had prior that helped me open these locations. It wasn't a desire to have all this. It was more um, listening to God, following where he was directing us. But more importantly, I mean, it wasn't hard to open these offices. It's very hard to grow your business, but the opportunities we were getting, um, the staff uh, that was um, being hired and the locations we had, were very easy to negotiate and to hire and you know with god it's not supposed to be difficult when we're running on our own or listening to our own word um that's when you know doors come up and blockades come up and could be not the right direction for your business i love that um tell me a little bit about the importance of a network so it sounds like god just placed people in your life business or different ways where it allowed you just to grow and sometimes we think we have to do it all on our own um which i think is a myth you know when we look at it actually god allows us and wants us to collaborate and, and connect and be a part of um, a community where and not necessarily just inspire collective but in general the power of a network can you share a little bit well, it, it, it's, it's um, a cliche saying, right? If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others, right? And especially um, Inspire Collective, uh, the members um, between you, James, Josh, the Han Salon was an integral part of me actually doing it. Because I was afraid. I was afraid in the middle of COVID to leave a very high-paying six-figure job to open something on my own especially our first office in the West side, right? In Nana Cooley. And it was through conversations with him, people like you and other business owners to give you that confidence of one, you, you really can do it, 
but two, with our community, you have resources to bounce ideas off of and to structure properly. Uh, I remember uh, Stan Cabanas, his big tip with, uh, for me was pay your taxes. Yeah, it's in the GT tax that comes around quick. But um, no, it's just gleaning wisdom from other people that have done it before, right? We don't want to reinvent the wheel. If we can do it easier and faster, that's what the collective's here for. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's great. So what would you say to that individual who maybe is in your, in your shoes uh, prior to making the leap and you're scared, you're like, I haven't done this, I don't even know what that looks like, but I feel God's calling me to step out, to start my own thing, to to really pursue my values in my business and not just be, and there's nothing wrong with, again, having a nice job under a boss and making money, that's totally fine, but if you feel like God's got something more for you, but you're scared to pull the trigger, right? What would you say to that person? I would say pray. Uh, pray a lot about it and seek um seek advice from other entrepreneurs, other business people, not necessarily in the same field, but people have doing it longer than you. I've had the opportunity for young entrepreneurs to ask, they ask me, you know, what do you think of this? Should I do this? And as someone that cares for them as a business owner, I was not necessarily poking holes in their plan. I was giving them scenarios. If things don't happen the way you plan on it, um, do you have cash reserves? Do you have a pivot? Uh, can you pivot to a different model? Um, do you, are you really new? No. That, that, that's a big thing. Or are you some version of something else? Um, so the biggest advice um, that I'll give you is one, pray, and then seek um, opinions from people you trust that have been there before. And they're not tearing your idea down. They really care about you. They want you to avoid a lot of mistakes they have made. So they are putting your plan to the test. You know, um, Pastor Mike sa says it, uh, work uh, like it depends on you, but pray like it depends on God. Yeah, that's really good. Um, so tell us a little bit about chiro chiropractic services. Now, there might be many people who have heard about it, maybe saw a TikTok video and was like, I'm never doing that because that looks like you're going to break my neck. Um, you know, and there's uh, there's so many benefits, but yet, there's a lot of fear around it, right? You're going to crack my, my spine and I'm going to be paralyzed or, you know, whatever those fears and myths are out there. I'd love for you to share, one, the benefits of chiropractic um, services. And then secondly, maybe addressing a couple of the top three fears or myths about it. Like, I don't know, that's kind of crazy. Well, uh, absolutely. Yes. Um, when you see the videos or someone explains it to you, it is almost disconcerting. Uh, someone's going to grab you and twist you and make noises. And you may or may not feel better, right? Um, if I could explain chiropractic very simply, it's about balance, right? What we want to do is balance your body and spine so your brain can connect with your body better, right? Um, we want you to feel better, yes, but we want you to function better as well. And the way we do it is through the nervous system and through the spine. Yes, there are cracking sounds sometimes, um, but it doesn't have to. All right. Um, so the biggest thing is one, um, it's going to help you feel and function better. Two, it shouldn't hurt. And I'm not saying it's not going to feel awkward, especially the first time, but it shouldn't hurt and give you more pain. All right. And then three, um, one of the biggest misnomers, and I address this every day, is I hear once you go, you like have to come back, friends. Yeah. Well, yes and no. Right. You don't have to come back forever. Most of my patients do. Most of my patients come back on a maintenance type of deal, where it's once a month or, or every couple of weeks. Um, because I, I like to describe it, it's not a destination. Health isn't a destination. It's a journey, right? And we're building your body. We're building your immune system, your spine, to help navigate your life. You may sit at a desk all day, or you might do labor work, or you might have to do both. So what we're designing or helping your body... Um, I guess, a encounter those uh, obstacles or your daily routine, uh, more balance and at better function. Yeah. What are maybe some things that you, you have seen, like almost testimonials where custom clients or customers have come in and then after just some, you know, maintenance and balance and alignment, you've seen big improvements in 
you know, their functioning, their health, the things that, that you need. Um, absolutely. So I can think of a few examples. I have one client that, um, he came in with crutches. I couldn't hardly walk and then walked out of the, wow. out of the session there. Not everyone's going to have those, those type of results. He's actually one of my biggest promoters in the community as well. Um, but I, I've had people, you know, from debilitating back pain to headaches to autoimmune diseases as well to post-stroke recovery. Um, and again, I'm not healing them at all, sure. right? Um, and as a Christian, I feel comfortable in saying this, like chiropractic has almost a Christian base, right? Um, the chiropractic principle is 1 John 4, 4, right? Greater is he that is in you than he is of this world. Uh, we live in a society where we're too quick to run to pop a pill to have a procedure where chiropractic is more holistic, more, um, we want to focus on how you are functioning rather than put something in to see how that affects you. Because our body is, is so um, intuitive and smart and can, can heal itself to some degree. You're just aligning that to allow ourselves to function. So we're, we're just allowing basically the power that made the body to help heal the body. We're just removing that interference. Yeah, I love that because that's how God created us and he created us so unique yet we're looking for outside things to try to fix us and if we could just allow inside. Hey, I, I get it too. We live in this, I want it now culture and I'm guilty of it as well, but we are designed, you know, um, to heal, but in the image of God. But more importantly, it is, especially here on the islands, most people are called to that. They really enjoy the fact that I'm not trying to put anything in. We're just trying to restore the way you used to be because uh, for the majority of patients, they didn't always used to have these ailments. They were healthy once. We're just trying to, how do we get back to where you were? Love that. Well, thank you for all that you're doing for the kingdom, for people's health and what you're doing. I would love for you to show people what a simple adjustment might look like, maybe demystify the scariness of it. Yeah, uh, So absolutely. Let's rock and roll. All right, so Dr. Rakeed, if I'm coming in here, and probably a lot of the fear stems from, I don't even know what it looks like, other than the scary videos I saw online. What, what would a, uh, you know, a basic adjustment look like? Um, so at first we'd go over your history, what's bothering you, what have you. But then part of the exam and the actual adjustment itself is me looking for imbalances, right? We want symmetry. We want one side to be as close uh, to the other as possible. And through the adjustments, how we do it. Cool. So the first thing you get to do is go face down for me, please. Beautiful. All right, and the first thing I usually do is do a leg length check, and I'm not looking for exact measurements. I'm generally looking for is one side equal to the other. And for you, sir, one side is a little bit shorter than the other. That doesn't mean your pain's on one side or the other. That just means there's an imbalance here in your hips. And when we balance you out, more than likely you'll feel better and function better. The nerves can, you know... Um, our, our, the nerve channels are more open, and more importantly, your body's not compensating anywhere else. Okay? All right. So, second part is palpation. And this is really the art of it is I'm also feeling for asymmetries as well. So, it is what we find biomechanically, but it also is a feeling. I can also tell you it's uh, sometimes a spiritual feeling as well. When people say, oh, I felt the Holy Spirit say something or give me something that's the same thing i'm trying to be open for as well is what is your body telling me <laughs> even though you may present one way your body may be just being you know, like hey my back really hurts or my mid back i sit in traffic all day so my mid back neck and shoulders just aren't doing so hot right now yeah. so now we're going to start with a treatment here in your mid back you may hear some of this, some popping and cracking. Again, nothing's breaking, nothing's tearing. We're just shifting these bones back into balance. All right, Russell, deep breath in for me, please. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. Lift your head up just slightly. Beautiful. Perfect. One more here. Exhale. Drop those shoulders. Head up. There we go. Beautiful. Doing okay with those? Yeah, so you can see it's, I'm a big guy. I don't have to like just lay into him. A lot of it is breathing and pressure and pressure in the right places to put you back into balance. All right, we'll get balance out your hips now, okay? I'm gonna have you laying on your left side for me, please. Facing the, this way, 
beautiful. You have a 50-50 chance at it. All right, here we go. Arms cross. Top leg is bent. Bottom leg is straight. Beautiful. This is where we're going to balance out the hips. Deep breath in for me. Exhale. I'm going to roll you towards me. You're doing great. Relax. Perfect. How's that? Not too bad, right? All right, other side. This is also an unnatural motion. You feel like, I'm going to fall off. I won't let you fall. But more important, biomechanically, this is how we balance out the hips. Beautiful. All right, here. Deep breath. Exhale. Beautiful. Relax, relax. Perfect. There we go. I know that was the loud one on your back face up. It helps to be big and tall. But as you can see, I'm not using a ton of force. I'm not trying to, like, rip everything off right here. This second one, or this part of the treatment is a little bit different than some other chiropractors do, or maybe you're used to. I'm going to do um, long lever motions, or more importantly, what we want to do is stretch you taller, right? From sitting, standing, uh, everything we do as we go older, it makes us shorter to shrink us. So what we're going to do is just decompress your spine, and then more importantly, break up adhesions in the joints. Deep breath in, exhale. Relax. Perfect. One more here. And it looks like I'm going to go on his leg is because I am. Deep breath in. Oh, yeah. We don't have to get so technical with everything. Perfect. There we go. A little different, yeah? And what we're trying to do is just balance everything, but also make you taller as well. Now for the fun one. Everyone gets nervous about this one. This is the one for your neck. And again, your body's connected, right? Let's say someone had low back pain. Yes, I want to work on their low back, but I also want to make sure everything else is balanced as well. So that's why we do treatment from the bottom all the way up to the top and vice versa. Beautiful. So I'm feeling for imbalances, but I'm also moving the head, looking for motion imbalances. As you can see, to the right moves better than to the left. It's kind of holding on a little bit. Let's start here with the left. You're doing great. You... Deep breath in. Exhale. Perfect. One, two, and three. Nice. Doing okay with that one? Yep. Yeah. All right. Perfect. One more here. One, two, and three. First. Very good. All right, one last one. We got to make you a little taller, Russell. Deep breath in. Exhale. Same thing we did for the hips. Very nice. Beautiful. So that's it. How you doing? That was great. <laughs> that was a little dark. Not too bad, right? Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us for this episode with Inspired Collective. Dr. Ricky, thank you so much for uh, adjusting me and making me a little bit taller and more aligned. We just love your heart for the kingdom and for patients and for people. And I know that you're going to continue to do amazing things. So thank you for joining us. Hope you learned something and took some, some things away from the gems that he shared with us. My pleasure. Well, wow.